Hey everybody. Here are the fidgets. I'm John. And I'm Dave. And, and Chris, the bald one. He's not here. Not here. He's out of country, apparently. He's out of country. I'm out of country. We think he's in Trinidad and or Tobago. <laughs> we don't know. Right. But hey, we're excited because we've got a show coming up. Where are we going, John? We are going on June 15th to Markham. And we're going to do a fundraiser in support of the Rise Pregnancy Support Center. That is exciting. And John, we're going to meet some people. I heard yeah. that you're looking forward to meeting someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were talking earlier about meeting some friends in Markham and everything's coming together. So I'm looking forward to meeting up with my old friend, Cheryl Lindquist. Oh. Cheryl and I were puppeteers. Puppeteers? Yeah, you know how some people have... You weren't ventriloquists. We were not. You were puppeteers. You know how some people have sock puppets? Yeah. We had running shoe puppets. Running shoe puppets? It, it was really hard to get them to move around. I can imagine. But... That's all I can say. It was just really hard to get them to move around. It didn't, it didn't go very far. Interesting. Hey, yeah. speaking of moving around. What? I'm looking forward to seeing Alan... Uh, Abrigo? Abrigo. Yes, you've heard of him too. Yep. He is world famous. At? SeaWorld. Really? Yeah. This guy can call sea life. He can imitate a beluga whale. Like Aquaman? Can, yeah. But he can't breathe underwater. Oh, yeah. Okay. SeaWorld, like he's a headliner and So does he is he like a trainer? He gets the whales to jump and He speaks to them. How do you know he speaks to them? Like I don't know, but he makes all these weird calls and they come. Really? Yeah, it's incredible. That's amazing. And he's in Markham now. He's in Markham now, but he was in SeaWorld. Okay. Yeah. Well well speaking of SeaWorld, mm -hmm. okay, and the aquatic life. Yeah. My friend Sarah Ritkonen. Yeah. Ritkinen, yeah. some people would say. Yeah. She builds aquariums out of corn syrup. Oh, man. Yeah. She takes corn syrup. She pours it out on this marble slab. Wow. And freeze dries it, right? Yeah. And then builds four walls, silicone up the sides. And so it's like you can see through it clearly, but also... Wow. Pretty tasty. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They call her the corn syrup girl. Hey, speaking of corn syrup. What? I am excited to see again. Krista Harley. Really? She was... Christina, I think. Christina. Christina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to call her Krista. Yeah. That's what we call her. But Christina, you know, she was our lunch lady in high school. Really? Uh-huh. What was her specialty? Goulash. <laughs> <laughs> it was, she made it with corn syrup. I'm telling you, goulash <laughs> with corn not, syrup is <laughs> not only fun to say, <laughs> goulash, it's fun to eat. Yeah, especially like in high school. Can you imagine? Goulash. That high fructose corn syrup. Every week. Yeah. Every Friday. It's your blood. Goulash. <laughs> that's what that's what oh, that's cool. awesome. Now, speaking of high school, my friend Quincy Eng. Yeah. Quincy Eng was an expert uh, Quincy would go into the library, pull all the books off the yeah. shelves, yeah. and just stack them from the floor yeah. to the ceiling, yeah. and then climb on top, climb the books, yeah. and run from one pile to the other. Bong, 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 all around. It was like a circus act that you could watch in the library instead of studying. Wow. All of the books. It was very messy, but he was amazing. Wow. You know, yeah. speaking of studying, John, when I was in high school, instead of studying, we would have uh, staring contests. Really? Yeah, and we and we place wagers. Okay, like like how much money? Like our like you know our lunch money. Okay. And so Steve Gibson. Yeah. We had this steering contest. Yeah. He beat me. And he took my lunch money. And guess what? What? It was a Friday. Oh, so you couldn't have <laughs> the corn syrup, corn syrup goulash. goulash. Steve! I Steve, I I ruined. So you know what? I'm getting my lunch money back, buddy. Yeah. And, and look, I've been staring. I've been practicing. Try it. I can't even return that gaze. That's good. So, everyone, make sure you come to the show. Buy your tickets. We're going to be doing Mousetrap, which means your $20 donation or whatever the donation is, is going to put a Mousetrap on the stage, which is set. And then Dave and I are going to put on blindfolds. And we're going to be barefoot. Take off our shoes and socks. And we're going to do our last comedy sketch on top of a stage like, Not just walking, but rolling, crawling, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And all the money raised goes to support the Rise Pregnancy Center. So, which is an amazing, amazing 
organization. Yeah, yeah, we're happy to happy to do this. It's gonna be very painful for us, very funny for you. We will see you then. Can you press that little red button? Yeah, right here. All right.